God's story. Joshua becomes leader. So part of God's story is about when Joshua became leader of God's family, and it goes like this. Remember how God rescued his family when they were stuck as slaves in Egypt? He made a path right through the middle of the Red Sea. He showed them where to go with a pillar of fire at night and a cloud during the day. He gave them water from rocks and sent food like rain every morning. Best of all, he promised to bring them to an amazing new home called Canaan. All they had to do was trust him. But sometimes, people have a hard time believing God will take care of them. So for a whole year, God's family worried and complained. They felt like they'd never get to the promised home where they would be safe and comfortable. And even though God was taking care of them every day, they kept worrying that he'd stop. But their leader Moses trusted God with his whole heart. And one day, God told Moses to send 12 men into Canaan as spies to see how great it was. So Moses did. And one of those 12 men was Moses' helper, Joshua. He trusted God too. Well, Joshua and the other spies spent 40 days in Canaan. And they discovered that the new home was as good as God had promised. There was delicious food. Water flowed nearby. It was paradise. It had everything God's family needed and wanted. There was just one teeny tiny problem. People lived there already. Big people. Big people who lived in a big city called Jericho that was protected with really big strong walls. And the people there did not plan to give up their home. So 10 of the spies came back terrified. They said, we look like grasshoppers compared to the people there. When the rest of God's family heard that, they got scared too. They didn't want to go to the promised land anymore. But Joshua knew that no problem is too big for God. He and another spy named Caleb argued, If the Lord wants to give it to us, He will. After all, God had shown His family how powerful He was. But even though God had always provided for His family, they still chose not to trust Him. And because they made that choice, there was a consequence. God kept his whole family in the desert for 39 more years. So long that all the adults who chose not to trust that God could take them to the new land spent the rest of their lives in the wilderness. God kept taking care of them, of course, but life was nothing like it would have been in the promised home. The good news is, there was a blessing for Joshua and Caleb's obedience. They did live long enough to get to Canaan, 
See, God always keeps his promises. So eventually, he took his family into the promised land, and God chose a new leader to take them there, a guy who would trust him with his whole heart like Moses had. Yep, Joshua. And that's the story of when Joshua became the leader of God's family. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. God took care of his family. He promised them a new home. They had to trust him. Twelve spies visited Canaan. People already lived there. Joshua and Caleb trusted God. Most of God's family got scared. God's family stayed in the desert. God kept his promise. Joshua got ready to lead God's family into the promised land. And that's a part of God's story. Be our guest, we our guest, be our guest.